Hey. All right, we are now joined by uh, the 2018 NCAA Division I national champion at 141 pounds, Yanni Diakamahalis from Cornell. Uh, as a reminder, please wait for the microphone before asking a question, and uh, please identify yourself and your outlet when asking that question. Yanni, if you could just talk right in that mic for me. Uh, hands up for questions, please. Yanni, Jim Nordland, Matt Slap, New York State. Yanni, I've witnessed when you watching you win four state titles and now one NCAA title. And I remember correctly when you were in eighth grade, you won an overtime ride out. I've noticed throughout the years, one thing that I think the common denominator with all your victories and tournament championships is your poise. How do you maintain the poise in these tight matches time, time and time again? It's all about belief in my opinion, you know. I know my coaches have infinite confidence in me. And I know every time I step out there, I have a lot of scoring potential, a lot of ways I can score. So it's all just coming from that confidence that no matter what situation you're in, you can go get one, you can keep them off you. So you should never have fear if you believe in yourself. Question over there. Kyle Klingman, Win Magazine. Are you able to see an aerial view of what's going on in your match? Because it seems like you're able to just see what's going on in your head and then execute what's happening. How, how do you visualize what you're going to execute? It's just years of practice and training and rep repetition, you know. Kind of going back to what I was saying earlier, just if you're confident in what's going on, and obviously you have to be aware, but if you're aware of what's going on, then you know you'll always have an opportunity to score. And that awareness makes it look like you're seeing ahead, but really it's just a good sense of body awareness. Question here. Yanni, Bob Matthews from PennSpeakRadio.com in Pennsylvania. You never seem to get rattled, no matter what the situation. The other day you made a comment, you were in the room, you practiced, you know, 2-1, 30 seconds to go, 3-1, that kind of a thing. But you always seem to keep your composure, whether you're up 9-1 or whether you're losing 3-1 or 3-2. And I mean, and you're a, a true freshman, I mean, that composure is unbelievable for a man, you know, a young man who's just a true freshman. I mean, I know your coaches do a great job with you, but you just seem so calm. What do you attribute to that? Um, you know, I've put myself in that situation every day since I was 10 years old. I've always played the game. You're down by one, you got to go get one. So... You know, that composure comes with a lot of practice. And my one match I lost this year, I, um, I had a 6-3 lead and 100% blew it. Didn't get tired, just failed. So um, we've learned to address both sides, being up by one, up by three, up by five, down by one, down by three, down by five. And just constant repetition. My coaches, you know, Mike Gray constantly put me in danger. I think that's, you're so familiar with it that when it becomes reality, it's nothing new. Question here in the center. Jay with Day with USA Wrestling. Yanni, what's going through your head when you're uh, losing in the, in the closing seconds of the third period, and you hit that big move and get, you know, two and back points? I can't believe I hit that on him. <laughs> it's one of those moves that I've hit all through high school and I kind of got away from it because guys were so aware of it. But at the same time, as soon as he shot, it was like, oh, it's going to be there. I can't believe it's going to be there. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And I just like gave a little bit. He turned his head into me, and I'm like, oh, my God. I locked that up, got two in backs, and uh, that was it. So it's just kind of what you were talking about was staying composed, being able to recognize that you have a position that you could win or you could lose and learning how to capitalize. Question here. Hey, Yanni. Uh, Will LeBlanc, ESPN Ithaca. I know you've been thinking about this moment all year. When you did finally get that win, is that how you envisioned it? I mean, like I got pretty amped up in my quarters and semis, but this was so different. It was just like everything went quiet. It's like a movie scene. Like everything goes quiet. You used to hear tears in the background, and like I just locked eyes with Mike. And it's like he's done so much for me, and sacrificed so much for me and helped me get so much better that I was just like, we did it, you know? And it's just a really happy moment. Time for one more question, if there's one out there. Right over here on the left side. 
kind of uh, Mark Jolk over Flow Wrestling. Take us through kind of quarter semis, finals. I mean, obviously, knock out two-time national champ in the quarters, get revenge in the semis, and then obviously you win a national title. I couldn't have pictured it to go like this. You know what I mean? Just brackets came out. And the bracket, when they came out, was exactly how I thought it was, but it was like, just seeing it, you're like, all right, this is going to be tough, you know? And uh, wrestle high on the quarters, get a dramatic win there. You know, I get a little banged up in that match. Now I'm like, man, I got this guy who's beating me. I'm not feeling great. Get through it, you know? Got Mike Gray in my ear. Hey, you got it. Don't let it face you. You're, it's, nothing changes. You're still fighting hard. Get through that one in overtime. Now you're in the finals. You got Meredith, guy who you beat in Vegas in overtime, who, uh, you know, great scrambler, great mat wrestler. You know, I knew it was going to be another tough one for me. And to be honest with you, I thought I was just going to, like, just win. I'm like, man, like, the way this tournament's been going, eventually I'm just going to, like, have one that's not exciting. It's like, so, you know, down by two. Maybe I was down by three. I don't remember. Or one. I don't know. I'm, da- I'm losing. And uh, it's like, oh, you squeeze that one out again. Like, wow. At some point, it goes from getting lucky, I think, to just being like, the guys who can find a way to win are going to win. And I just think I was able to find a way to win in every one of those matches. That's it. All right. Thank you, Yanni. Congratulations. Thank you, guys.